Welcome back to the Energy Academy Australia. Now that we've covered the basics of the NEM, let's look into how the market is governed and who the main players are. The NEM is ultimately governed by the National Electricity Law, or NEL. The NEL is not truly national, but rather a series of state and territory laws that apply a common set of rules throughout the NEM. The NEL is in turn implemented through the National Electricity Rules, or the NER. Market operators and regulators ensure that the electricity sector operates smoothly and complies with the rules. There are three major market bodies. The Australian Energy Market Commission, or AEMC, develops the National Electricity Rules and other energy sector regulations. The Australian Energy Regulator, or AER, enforces the rules to protect the interests of energy consumers. And finally, there's the Australian Energy Market Operator, or AMO. As mentioned in Episode 2, AMO in particular plays a very important role in the NEM. It operates the wholesale and ancillary services markets to meet demand requirements in the most cost-efficient way. It also manages other essential services that keep the NEM secure and operating smoothly. We'll talk about those services in the next two episodes. In the longer term, AMO is a major player in developing plans and policies for Australia's energy sector. AMO publishes documents like the Integrated System Plan, or ISP, that lays out scenarios for how the NEM will develop in the future. It also carries out trials of changes to the NEM, and in general, provides vital advice for policy and investment decision-making. There are multiple parts of the industry that work together to ensure that electricity is generated, delivered to its destination, and ultimately consumed. First are the network operators. They build and maintain the transmission and distribution networks, in other words, the poles and wires that transport electricity from generators to consumers. Next, we have the generators that produce electricity. As we discussed in the previous episode, coal is the largest source of electricity generation in the NEM. State-owned companies like Stanwell and CS Energy own some coal power stations. But the big three private sector companies, AGL, Energy Australia and Origin, own the majority of NEM coal capacity. We then have the retailers. These companies procure energy from generators and sell it to consumers with a profit margin. Some companies operate as both generators, producing their own electricity, and retailers selling electricity directly to consumers. The big three are the most prominent examples of these gen tailors. And of course, there are the consumers themselves. With the rise of behind the meter generation, demand response, and virtual power plants, consumers are playing more of a role in the energy system. We'll talk about them in a later episode. Large-scale dispatchable generation, like coal and battery energy storage, are scheduled generators. Scheduled generators have strict operating requirements. They bid into the market and have to follow central dispatch targets for generation. Intermittent renewable generators, like wind and solar over 30 megawatts, are classified as semi-scheduled. They bid and participate in central dispatch and can have their output limited or curtailed We'll talk about why curtailment can happen in a later episode. Smaller scale generators are non-scheduled with much less strict operating requirements. They do not bid into the market or participate in central dispatch and can change their output without notice. In the next episode, we'll discuss what makes the NEM such a volatile market. See you there.